Welcome to the Dazwa Beats channel. I'm Dazwa Beats. Today we'll be doing um last video I made I used the modifier, right? And uh, in the video I said if y'all want me to make a video about the modifier in a little bit that I know about it, I make the video for y'all, all right? A couple people in the um comments said make the video for the modifier. So that's what we're doing today. I was working on a beat already. Um little dance hall type stuff and um I was like, it's a good time to show y'all how to use the modifier. All right, so in this video, that's what we're doing. First, I'm gonna play what I'm working on, and then when it get to the drums, I'm gonna show y'all how to modify the drums and make it sound different. All right, it helps with giving you a different bounce. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, so now we're in the software. This is what I'm working on. I have this sound right here. And I went to track two with the same sound, same sound, just lower, lower, a little bit lower. And this is what I played with the same sound. All right, I went back to track one and put a half time on it. So this is what it sound like. Track one sound like with the half time and track two. Alright, so then I was like, alright, let's start with the drums a little bit. So I'm going to let y'all hear what I started with. I just started with these two sounds up here. So let's play that. When it come back around. This is the two sounds that I started with. Alright, and then I played around with the hi-hats a little bit. So this the hi-hat coming. Alright, and then after the hi-hats, put a little kick in there. So this is the kick right here. All right, it's not about the beat today, all right, but that's what I was working on, and I was like, all right, let's go ahead and let's do, um, let's just do the modifier real quick, all right? I'm going to do the modifier for the hi-hats. That's what we're going to do is right here, modifier right here. So what you want to do, you want to highlight the, the sound, any sound that you want, right? You highlight it if you want to kick the hi-hat, anyone. I want to do the hi-hats, all right? All right, so yours will look like this when you first start it up, right? So what you want to do is you want to come right here to the eye and hit the eye, right? Once you hit the eye, it'll bring up the Q-Link setup, all right? Once you're in the Q-Link setup, you don't want it on screen. You want it on pad scene, right? That's what we want it on, on the pad scene. These are the pads right here, right? Pads and the pad. These right here. So once you do that, you'll come to your modifier. If you come here, right, modify, it will show you the these little dots. You can right click on the dots and it show you what you can modify. Tune in, cut off, resonance, filter, pan, level, attack, decay, release, and layer, right? Once you highlight the hi-hats, these little dots will come up. You'll right click on one of the dots because all of them are selected and then select tune in. Once you select tune in, then you can use your Q links if you have a hardware. If you don't have a hardware, you can just come here to the tune in right there. Just click on it, right? Then you'll see tune in pop up right here, right? Now, what you could do is if you want momentary on, you can turn that on. What the momentary do? All right, let's take it off first. I'm going to show you what momentary do. Once you are on tune in, if you move the tune in and move it up, it'll stay there just like you you use it right here anywhere you move it it'll stay there right now what the what the momentary do let's bring it back to zero what the momentary do is if you 
on this and you click the momentary no matter if you move it and hold it once you let it go it goes back to zero so you go to momentary move it with your mouse let it go it goes back to zero move it it goes back to zero all right if this is not on it will stay wherever you keep it that's what momentary do i like to use the momentary on there right so once i play it i can play around with the see then it flip back twist flip twist flip hi-hat go the other way let's solo it see that again all right can go to the right so i like using the momentary because they bring it back to the original where it's at once you finish with it and let it go it goes back to the original that's how you get the bounce all right now you can use your mouse and do it down with the mouse i'm using the mouse right now let's go i'm not using the cooling so if you don't have a hardware i don't know how to set it up with a midi keyboard because i never use the software with just a regular midi keyboard so if y'all figure out how to use it with the knobs on your midi controller i don't know how to do that so i can't tell y'all how to do that right so but i'm using the mouse All right, now, if you want to record that in so it can stay forever, you'll cut, if you have a, if you have a hardware, you'll go, well, MPC key 61, have the, um, automation read and write over here button, right? But if you don't have that button, you can come right here, up at the top right here, the read and write, once it's green, is right, is, is reading whatever you put, once it's in red, it's time to write. So you're trying to put put down whatever you're writing down, right? So let's leave it in red. Now, once we twist this knob or use the mouse and move it, it's going to start giving you the automation. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's use the mouse. All right. Let's use the Q links first. See, I just touched it and it made a line. Let's go. And if you keep messing with it, it'll go back around and just. All right. Let's mute this. Now, see, I turned it off. Now it's reading whatever I wrote down. All right. Now, if we want to change it, we just turn it back on. Turn it back to red and change it if we want to. Let's use the mouse now. All right. So that's what the momentary do you can also do the panning if you want to so you'll go back to modifier once you go back to modifier and select these it's still on tuning you just right click and put it on pan now it's on pan you can go down here where pan is at right here pan is down here now we can turn on back momentary and then we can do the pan if we want to all right i don't know why the moment let's turn off momentary first and then put the pan back on in the middle all right now we turn the momentary on and let's do the panning let's turn the first let's turn the right on make it red to record it in
All right. Now you see it's moving by its own because I turned it off. All right. Now that's it. And you can add multiple on one different. Uh, what's the name? All you have to do is go back to momentary and select right click and select what you want to modify. All right. So you hear the hi-hat going back and forth, left and right. anyone you can modify your kicks you can modify your hi hats your open hats your closed hats you can modify whatever you want to modify just do how I showed you how to do it all right all right so that's it that's how you do the modification that's how you might use the modifier inside the software it gives your sound a bounce if you you know if you need an extra bounce you just go in there use the modifier and that's how I do it okay so let's go man let's get it as always thank you to everybody for watching sharing liking commenting going back and forth with me in conversation I appreciate it all alright so that's how you do the modifier man let's go let's get it catch you in the next one peace we out alright turn it up <laughs>